Hello everybody, Joe Bag Donuts here, and welcome back for another episode of Full Metal Demon Muramasa. Seems like we're in the home stretch, maybe, you know, like one or two more episodes for the hero route before we uh move on to uh what's what's both of these called? I think it's like the Nemesis route. I'm pretty sure that's it. Anyway. Yeah. A little, a little tired. It's late. It's almost eleven PM. But, you know, it's the day after Thanksgiving. So I'm tired and full of turkey. That's what I had for uh, for lunch today. No breakfast. I didn't need to eat breakfast. God no. Yeah, last night people were show were like were like sharing photos of their uh, Thanksgiving, you know, meals that everyone brought food for on Discord, and just looking at that was actually making me physically nauseous. Uh, by the time I had gotten home from uh, from uh, where I was with my friends at their house, so no breakfast, late lunch. Which, you know, they gave me, like, two Tupperware things just full of leftovers. Because they're like, otherwise, they would be forced to eat nothing but Thanksgiving leftovers for, like, two weeks. So, I did I did my part and took away as much as I could. I'll uh, probably be eating that for the next two days. And then I have another, another late Thanksgiving uh, to go to uh, for, for a work group. Uh, tomorrow so I need to bake one of my pies early in the morning I, I still have all the mix well hopefully I have enough mix from uh, yesterday if not I'll just like run to Walmart real quick and buy a can of you know a can of the pumpkin filling because I, I just need it to, uh, to to fill up the pie crust like if I don't have enough, I'm still going to be like 70% there. I just need a little extra filler. It's like when you're making jam, you know? If you ever make jam, sometimes you just throw some fucking random shit in there in order to get the volume. Like, I have them in my backyard. They're called... I forget what the actual name is, but they're like... Regionally called Indian strawberries. They're, they're, they're these little berries that grow on the ground. Red... They look kind of more like raspberries than strawberries. They don't really have much flavor. Uh, they're completely safe to eat. They just, you know, there's not much pleasure in eating them. It's kind of like, kind of like when you're eating a watermelon and you bite too much into it and you like you get some of the rind and it just like doesn't taste like anything. It's like that. But if you're making a jam, you can just throw it in there to fill it up, so that way you can get your actual berries to last longer. You know, make make two jars instead of one but yeah so I need to wake up make the pie crust which should should be easy I left my uh, my big pie tin uh, with my friends because you know I didn't want to take home half the pie that I made and just eat it all by myself so I'm like you can you can you guys can split it up between your family and just like give me the take the the cake tin back next week at work and I'll give you back your uh, your Tupperware. We're doing like an exchanged hostage situation with our with our you know leftovers. But yeah, I uh, don't really have much more to say about that other than I got my coffee. I spent all day on FF14, you know, just doing the uh, the uh, the patch content for Heaven's Word because I I, I beat I beat Heaven's Word. And, probably like two months ago but I've just been doing all like the beast tribe quests all the all the 2.0 3.0 stuff <sighs> working on relic weapons so I haven't even started like the patch content proper so I can make my way over to Stormblood. I thought about maybe streaming it you know if, if that's something you guys would be into just just because I don't know I'm doing it anyway I might as well you know stream it on YouTube or something so that way people can pop in if they want you know just just you know broaching the subject but uh yeah we uh we fucking murderized Kinsego. time to uh you know law balance the shit up and land upon the beach once more in my armor Kinsego has crashed into the sea uh, you probably should there is no need. Moreover, there is no time. My heart is blessedly numb for a moment, but that will not
will not survive certainty. No one will destroy me. Mido. Oh, yeah, probably a little emotionally shaken from that, you know, something you, you you needed to do when you convinced yourself you needed to do it, but still uh, a bit a bit rattled. The force of Ginseko's attack still lingers in my in the marrow of my bones, and my heat reserves are near empty. Still, I cannot yet permit myself to collapse. This two year long nightmare has ended, but my body, like my heart, still has work to do. That'll make the world better, right? I let her question that night go unanswered, but I made a promise to help her, to support her, to give her all that she requires. With every dram of strength I still possess, I must deliver my reply. When she appears on my back, her breath is ragged, and I can almost hear the beat of her heart. She must have pushed herself to the limit to reach me. For the moment, she is silent, but her silence speaks louder than any words can. It roasts me like a too near flame. She already, she already knows what I have done. So be it. I will answer the question she spoke while drifting to sleep in my arms. <laughs> I turn. Armor hides her face, but there's no challenge to imagine her expression. Yeah, especially because, you know, we get character portraits, so we don't have to. The tremor of voice can only come from deep within. Ah, because it makes no difference in the long run. I had to. その戦いは正義となる。戦いの正義が信じられる。うん。戦いの真実が忘れられる。いや、it's Who knew that she too was loved? That's okay. You're too dumb. Her voice rises in pitch, gaining momentum. Yep. それが分かってて常にそうだ。戦いの結果は。え、いや、いや、ロバウンスやでやだ。戦いはいつも例外は戦いそのものを思考する人間くらいだろう。ならば戦いの結果はいつも同じだ。敗者の正義と勝者の悪が一つずつ滅ぶ。Yep, the hero always triumphs over evil because, you know, the the one who wins always sees themselves as the hero. 全悪総殺。Therefore, I draw my sword and level it at Ichijo's chest. Whoever 
すなわち己の味方己の正義をも滅ぼす覚悟のない者が敵を殺してはならないのだいわいや正義を潰しておきながら正義を称するなど、うん、ん論外の極みだ you know, just a plain hypocrisy. 港さん俺はそう承知した上で銀星号を倒した Ichijo says nothing, but I'm sure that my words have reached her. Her silence is the opposite of cold. Masamune speaks first. Mido, what up the Yona? This man is a monster. Sumari, uh huh. Yatsua only run it, Taroka. So she. You tatori no shinito natana. Shosen, a kia kio. Her charge is sloppy. Her strike is crude. Murmas's armor deflects them easily. Yeah, if we're gonna do this, at least do it right. Mm-hmm. おそらくそうだろう Yeah, pretty, pretty fucked up. だがお前はすでに手を血で汚している闘争の真実を知る義務からは逃れない違うあなたの言う通りならこの世に正義なんてないことになる、nope. 突き詰めればそうだ、yeah. 正義というものは唯一絶対の価値観を意味するなら There's no universal, you know, cosmological rule or fucking idea of justice. Aru, Tosama go set the crita. He told the master of Naranai. He took an ubatte of Naranai. He told Sita get to a Naranai. Ako commanded Tadasku Kirikotoga. He told us to no sagida. Nindika, hm? Chakai Sengiko. Yeah, don't you get it? We live in a society. Those rules are made by people. Individual people have different ideas of what is moral. And you know, even within a group, that idea isn't shared a hundred percent. 正義を信じて悪と戦うこともだその勇気も尊いと思う Man, I'm, I'm like dying This cough is never gonna go away It's been almost like a month at this point だがその戦いに正義を名乗るな<笑> It's worse too, cause it's just dry Like yeah, in the morning I'll have a little post-nasal drip But after like standing upright for five minutes That's gone I think it's just because winter is rolling around too. It's just like the air is bone dry. Like I want to get a humidifier, but to put it in the same room where my computer is seems like a bad idea. お前たちにはそうさせるだけの力がある、うん、皆が戦いを賛美し戦いに身を投じる戦いの渦が拡大する yeah, 殺し合いに過ぎないその本質が忘れられ正義の名のもとに戦いが連鎖するわかるかお前は混沌たる騒乱をもたらす者に I mean, a little extreme, yeah, but you know, from a certain perspective, not wrong. 
約束しろ正義は胸に秘め二度と口にしないと約束してくれ don't, don't bring that into the world. お前がそれを誓うなら俺は切られる一条私は私は、so、悪を滅ぼして正義を貫徹する隠したりなんかしないそれじゃあこの世を正しくできない父様の願いが果たせない私は私は綾田一条だ、mm-hmm. それ以外の誰にもならない Gonna be,、uh, the hero the end, huh? そうか俺も。ムラマサであり続ける。戦いの終悪さを暴き立てるものであることを通す。正しいと。尊いと思うお前を。切る。<笑>裏切った。あなたは。はい、ワレビニーダー、セイディコンビッチャー、ハイプサーパー。ワタシオウラギタダー。ユクゾ。If this is to be my answer to Ichijo, this rejection, this betrayal, then I must deliver it with all the strength I still possess. <sighs> oh, look at that. You still got like a. What's that, like a third of a tank? It's like. It's not enough to be a, a quarter. It's like. What would that be, like two fifths? <laughs> She means my heat reserves, of course. The battle with Ginsego has drained them nearly dry. I'll have to end this quickly. <laughs> yeah. So the Yoda. We still got technique on them. When we clashed just now, she overpowered me by 50% or more. Fortunately, I managed to keep her sword from reaching my armor. As Muramasa warned, our present state is far from optimal. Oh, oh, my funny bone. Oh.、Uh, I just put my elbow down on like the, the armrest of my chair and I just like jammed the, the corner of the armrest right between the bones of my elbow. Ah, right in the nerve. Oh. Oh, that's all. Mm-hmm. And the things we have done are, you know, unequivocally evil, so now we fight. It's pretty simple. Yeah. Then you have a responsibility as the hero to, you know, lay us low. Exact your justice. How can it be called justice if you're playing favorites, you know, making exceptions? Kinda. It's like morally, yes, you are supposed to. Once again, Ichijo, you are right. Yeah, we、uh, have reached a bit of an impasse. It might make s right, that's all it is. Yeah, the whole he who fights monsters must be prepared to become one himself thing, you know. Go on a mission for revenge, dig two graves, all, all the old, you know, proverbs, adverbs, whatever, sayings. いい悪人というも
それは人間の一面に過ぎない一面しか持たない人間などいないそんなことは誰もが知っているなのに人は対立者を己の知る一面のみを持って悪人と断定し争い殺すそうしなくては殺し合いという絶対的な矛盾を許容できないからだもし疑問を捨て戦いの実相をそのままに受け入れるなら狂うしかない善も悪も敵も味方も隔てなく殺す悪鬼たるも俺になるしかない Yeah, you gotta, you gotta pull back the curtains, you know See the world as it truly is 知らぬ違うというのだ We'll、rip off all the nice little set dressing and、uh, embroidery and you know, gilded work on there. You know, scrape it all off, get down to brass tacks. <laughs> oh, that was loud to my ears. <laughs> どうにも整合のつけられぬ矛盾を見出したからではないのかそうじゃないあれはただ初めて人を切ったからあは、and why would you need to process it if it was right? 耐えられなかったのはなぜだ有酸入道を取るのは確かに信じてこの坂の正義と信じていたのは you know, どうしてそれほど衝撃を受けた Said you're acting like you had fucking, you know, lead on your shoulders. I mean, I do feel a little bad every time I take, like,、uh, strong antibiotics or penicillin or something. Because, you know, that's, that's just how the, the super bugs are going to get formed with the resistance to them, but it is what it is. You need, a, you need at least three lefts to make a right. I got a little in the tank. Oh, you just flying around in bare frame? And there's only one choice left. Gonna, gonna charge up for one final attack? I must. Yeah, once you、uh, scrape away all the, all the surface layer, you know,、uh, perception, exact same thing. His self righteousness is what enables people to trample others' good for the sake of their own. It tells them that their actions are just, that to kill those whom they deem evil is an act of virtue. If everyone believes that it is right to kill evil, then war ceases to be taboo. This must never be allowed to happen. War must always be condemned as the hideous injustice that it is. Yes, some people are dangerous. Yes, some must die. Some battles are necessary, but even these are never just. 
even when a single person threatens the whole of mankind, does not change what killing her means. That one side's good has, through violence, extinguished the good of the other. It is still murder. It is still self-righteous. It is still unquestionably evil. It is always wrong to take a life. The act must forever be shunned. Lest the world never know true peace. <laughs> うん。今れ。憎まれ。恐れられねばならぬもの。うん。故に悪を殺した上は、うん。善を殺す。And Hear me, Ichijo. This is my answer. Look to me to show you the way. I may betray you, but I will not betray that trust. Yeah, that's gonna be a hard lesson for her. No quarter, Ichijo. I strike to kill with all the might I possess behind it. If you have the power, if your way is true, then show me. Strike me down. Reject the awful truth I preach. Then climb my blasted corpse and march, and march onwards on the path that you believe is right. He's using a critical art. All his super. He means it. He's really trying to kill me. Why? I trusted him. I... No. No more thinking. It'll only make me weak, and now I need to be strong, as father would have wanted me to be. He trusted me to do the right thing. His legacy is at stake. I know what I have to do. Justice is there. If I have to go through and to reach it, I will. Counter. Yeah, just cool little trinkets on his utility belt. I suppose those contraptions were rather lacking the majesty one expects from a shinogi. A sound plan to strike first is always the strongest defense. And from the damage they did to the fort and the general, I have little doubt that those flames will make short work of us in our weakened state. Yep, can't let him uh, finish filling the bar. Gotta get that counter hit for extra damage. Masamune's power surges in response to our approach. Instinct tells me that their shinogi is ready. It's too late. The range is mine. Die. Ichijo!
<laughs> Ooh, not enough. I'm too weak. A large strike would have cut most Musha in two. It was not enough to breach Masamune's fabled armor. <laughs> Though I could not reach Ichijo's flesh, I felt her wings shatter beneath my blade. If she cannot fly, then the battle is over. I've won. <laughs> Oh yeah, Dad. Oh yeah, you you didn't see this. Yeah, she can do that. Masamune's chest is open, and from it extend. They're like the jaws of some enormous beast. I can hardly be blamed for failing to anticipate such a maneuver. Still, what a fearsome Surugi. Extending ribs, flesh eating cannon, a blade so hot it burns the one who holds it. These weapons were designed with only one thought in mind victory at any cost. However, the attempt has failed. All that's left is to watch Masamune fall. <laughs> Ooh, your guts. Got a, I got a tether ability. Mm. Gross. Her intestines? Not just intestines. I'm... I, uh, not, yeah, not just intestines. I am bizarrely relieved to see. What? Not just intestines, I am bizarrely relieved to see. Masamune has augmented them with armor, giving them the strength not of this world. They seize my limbs and bind me tight. <laughs> it's harder than it looks. First, I need to free an arm, then I can use my sword for the rest. <laughs> Ichijo must intend to use these intestines to drag me close enough uh, to drag me close enough to attack. I need a panic, however. In her current condition, I doubt she can manage a strike and kill, or killing strike. There's the matter of Masamune Shinogi, but my railgun appears to have knocked uh, them out of it. Uh, they'll need time to charge another. I just need to calm down and extract myself from this. <laughs> Oh. Nani? But nothing's happened. Hayaku, <laughs> I'll take your word up for it. She sheathed her sword? Why? No. Oh. This power. Uh oh. Murmasa's power? Oh, you can just copy it? Oh, that's not good. Well, that's a bit of an issue. I, I, I don't know. She might need a bit of a rest after that. You put her guts back in? 
At least wash the sand off first. They used their shinogi, which we survived. Then returned to them using our own karmic balance, Masamune's true power, which replicates perfectly any attack leveled against our armor. And that means Muramasa should have received the full force of their own strike. Wouldn't their full strength have killed us? No, I remind myself. No, it would not. Masamune would never fail. Fall. No matter the enemy, no matter the power, we will survive it and make it our own. Therefore, we have nothing to fear. We embody justice, and justice never dies. We will go on, no matter our wounds. No matter who betrays us. <laughs> yeah, define the important bits, though. You put back all her, like, giblets and gizzards? I get the feeling I'm still short a few organs. But I can worry about that later. Like, oh yeah, you didn't need your pancreas or your, uh, your short intestine, so... We just left those parts out for now. Probably the stomach, too. You know, you can live without your stomach. Yep. Pretty much a repeat of, uh, you know, the first fight. Out of commission, go finish him off. Uh, the beach? Cool, I'm not familiar enough with my Japanese geography. G geography? Geography. To pin that on a map. Come to think of it, it does look familiar. We were heading that way, southeast along the shore, when... Yeah, there, there are these things called trees and hills. They kind of, kind of block it. Yeah, just look for the smoke bloom. No. Yeah, well, gee, I wonder what could have caused it. Hmm. Well, that can't be good. Oh, okay. Are you, uh... Are you that little, uh... Little small child person that was with, uh, Usadoshin? Who, you know, I couldn't quite tell if they were a boy or a girl. I think they said it was a boy, but... Very, very androgynous. Alright, so just, uh... Are you fighting GHQ or are you just doing a scorched earth retreat? And you're just like, you know, fighting the local populace. Come on,
acting like the Europeans whenever people bring up gypsies. I watched the dis this display of villainy from the top of a nearby hill. <laughs> There's no one else it could be. Even without the uniforms and flags, I'd still recognize them by the stench of their deeds. They're looting that village, burning houses with people still inside. Yeah, it's like when you're doing the main quest in an RPG, and, you know, it's like some really important time-sensitive thing, but you pick up side quests along the way and just go do it. Because, you know, actually in-game, the passage of time doesn't matter. You know, because most RPGs nowadays, they don't have timers for quests. Like in, like in Fallout 1, you know, there's time-sensitive stuff where you'll show up to a town, you know, pretty, pretty late into your, your playthrough because you missed it. And whatever time sensitive thing was there is already passed. So it's like, you can't even do it. It's like, well, shit's already fucked. No, nothing here for me. What? What happened? On the ground? Why? Oh, my back's on fire. I reach behind me. My fingers touch something hot and wet. It clings to them like melted glue. I've been seeing a lot of this stuff recently. More keeps coming out in short, spurting bursts. Oh, you, uh... That's an, uh... That's an arterial wound. Ooh, that's not good. At the center of that spread, I find an indentation. A little hole of puckered flesh. Did someone... shoot me? ジャマシナイドほしいな。大鳥中将は人まず。GHQと銀星号の好きにさせる。全部隊は可能な限り物資を確保して合図へ撤収。新州奪回の体制に備えるとね。まあ、実のところそんなのはどうでもいいんだけ
Yeah, probably still bad to get shot in the back and like through the heart with it. あの方は何事も楽しまないと気が済まないから手早く始末なされば良かったのに帰り討ちに会ってしまわれたあの日あの晩もう一遊びじゃとお出かけになったニュードー様はそれきり戻られなかった違うそれよりも前だあなたそう
perhaps with regret. Perhaps. But no. Did Masamune see? No, only I can see from my vantage point upon the ground. The boy's not hurt. The boy's not crying. He's laughing. He's enjoying this. Premium Justice is $19.99 a month. Tendo he just threw something at us. That bundle in his cradle, uh, the bundle he had cradled in his right arm is empty. Its contents scattered over my body in Masamune's metal shell. What is this? Some sort of liquid? Oh, there are solid pieces as well. One of them is stuck to my cheek. I peel it off and hold it to where I can see it. It's small, thin, and white. My fingers twitch. It gives beneath the slightest pressure, crumbling like an overripened fruit. And like a fruit, beneath its moist skin is its soft, pulpy core. What is this? What was it? The answer is there. I'm really afraid to look. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. What else could it be but a piece of a... <laughs> no. That wasn't very descriptive. Oh. Yeah, I was going to be like, what is that, maggots? Because that's what it sounded like, but... さあ、笑って、笑ってよ。これがあなたの言う悪党の無残な最後だ。そうの末路とやらだ。入道様が粉々に切り刻まれてしまわれた。そばめだった姉さんはそれを見る余裕を。あ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あれ、あ
beneath its mother's watchful eyes, the unborn child blooms on my tongue. I know this taste. Purity stained with filth, beauty suffused with decay. This is the taste of justice. In the teachings of Enoji Temple, it is written, The Enma Dayo, Lord of Hell, who judges sinners and executes their punishment, is three times every day tortured by his victims. The damned take him, bind him to a stone, and feed him a cauldron of molten bronze. It sears his throat and burns through his stomach, setting his every organ aflame. This pain no other torment can match, but the Lord of Hell accepts it as his due. For he inflicts suffering upon the guilty, and that is his mor mortal sin. Ayane Ichijo was a bureaucrat employed by the Sagami Provincial Ministry, which administered one of the most populous regions in the Kanto. Naturally, this position demanded the highest standard of integrity. So he believed, and so he strove to be fair and good in all things. Oh, Ichido, I read that as Ichijo. I'm like, what? Which is not to say that this went against his nature. In fact, his nature was the very thing that led him to this position. More than anything, I need Ichijo. I man, Ichido. I'm just gonna habitually say Joe at the end of there. He cared about doing what was right. He longed for a world free of sin, where no one was ever selfish or greedy. All human beings treated each other with compassion, honesty, and respect. He loved these virtues, and therefore hated their opposite, evil in all its forms. He hated those who stole to enrich themselves, those who, de who uh, deceived for their own selfish gain, and most of all, those who took pleasure in others' suffering. By thus hating evil and loving good, he hoped to create a better world, a just world, it was a dream of the sort that all children share, only to abandon it as they grow older and their, and their ideals fight a losing war against reality. A thousand defeats, great and small, a thousand defeats, great and small, convinced most to surrender. But he, with a passion rare and strange, held tight to his dream and carried it through the fire well into adulthood. Here was a man who did only what he believed was right. So, of course, when he joined the ministry, he, it was with clear conviction that this was where he belonged, that men like him, men who sought virtue, were needed in precisely such positions. Was he correct? Perhaps, through a poll of his colleagues, would have revealed that most disagreed. In every aspect of his work for the ministry, he strove first and always to be fair, and he was a man who understood what fairness truly meant, it was not the same thing as mathematical equality. He argued for a progressive income tax. The flat tax, he said, at its current rate, was punitive to the least fortunate, while negligible to those with the most. He argued for more spending in rural communities. Public infrastructure should serve the public at large, not solely the needs of the military or powerful business concerns. I mean, they can do both, you know. They institute, like, a really a really good, like, national highway system. It's great. That's that's why the U.S. has such an extensive highway system. It's, it's mainly for, you know, first and foremost, so that way the military can move from place to place across the continental United States, uh, you know, expediently and with ease. But, you know, anyone could drive on it, so win-win. And on it went. In a short time, he earned himself a unique position within his organization, which is to say that he made himself an outcast. In retrospect, this was a foregone conclusion. What he believed should be a haven for the virtuous was just, and just was, in fact, precisely the opposite. He did not belong, and they shunned him for it. While he was not entirely without allies, they were far and few between. This is where his strangeness truly made himself apparent, because Aine Ichido did not relent. Despite pressure from every side, did not give up the pursuit of justice. If anything, his fervor grew. The death of his illusions had shown him how desperately justice was needed. 
but only one out of every hundred men is good, and each must work to be one hundred times better than all the rest. Even had he not been a servant to the people, with a duty to be worthy of the taxes which fed him, his stance would have been the same. This was simply who he was. And so, Aine Ichido fought. Wherever his ministry helped the powerful steal from the weak, he was there to speak against it and argue for better. He gave it everything he could, and got back nothing. His co-workers called him a fool. His superiors branded him a troublemaker. Even the people he was trying to help came to view the man with scorn. Hypocrite. Fantasist. Incompetent. Over time, he collected enough epitaphs to fill a book. And still, he never stopped trying to be the best public servant, human being, that he could. But in the, but, ugh, words. But in the end, all that his efforts bought him was a paradox that threatened to unmake him once and for all. One day, Hayane Ichido discovered that a colleague of his, one of his few friends in the ministry, had been stealing public funds. In those words, if those words had encompassed the totality of the matter, then it might have ended merely as another disappointment, one more reason to strive towards good. There were, however, some other points which bear mentioning. That a tsunami this year before had devastated a local fishing village. That the friend in question had previously submitted a plan to help, reco uh, help the village recover. That his proposal passed, but with only a fraction of the budget that he had requested. That not one cent of the embezzled funds had gone into his pockets. And so, Aine Ichido understood precisely what had driven his friend to such lengths. If he had been in the other man's place, would he have done any different? Perhaps not. Yet, there was no doubt in his mind that his friend had done wrong. Those funds belonged to all the people of Sakami, and a lone bureaucrat could not be allowed to turn them into his personal to turn them to his personal aims. This was the paradox. His friend had done good, and at the same time, evil. And for the first time in his life, Aine Ichido did not know what to do. Should he bury the evidence and let his friend go? Or should he turn the man in and seal his fate? Like the decision his friend had made, both choices were right. Both were wrong. Neither could truly be reconciled with his, con with his conception of justice. Thus, no matter which he chose, he would finally have to accept the truth which all adults knew. That, in this world, perfect justice cannot exist. This, then, was his chance to find a workable place in society, to become, at last, human and this chance he spurned. The world had presented a fork in the road. Instead of turning left or right, he chose to continue straight and leave the road behind. Aine Ichido forsook his humanity and became a beast, a slave to his nature. His friend had done wrong, so he turned the man in. But his friend's reasons had been good, so he continued the work and used his own funds to rebuild the village. And finally, took his own life as punishment for betraying one who, who had trusted him. Aine Ichido saw justice done. Pure justice. Pure madness. This man, this madman, was my father. And now I must remember. His final moments. That distant scene. I locked those memories away deep inside the vault of my subconscious and I have need of them once more. But that day, my father had already lost everything. Though he had saved the village, he had kept his name out of it, and so the people there still believed that their savior was the man he had betrayed. Any one of them would have happily cut his throat in the street. His remaining allies in the ministry had abandoned him, leaving him easy prey for those who had always wanted him gone. He was forced out by the end of the year. Even our relatives were no better. He had spent most of the INA wealth on his project. Money they had expected would one day be theirs. They quickly stripped our house of what remained. My father did not object, and left him nothing but spittle and scorn. And worst of all, his closest friend was gone. He had brought me that day to... Tatsuno Kuchi in Katase, whence the execution grounds of the Kamakura Shogunate army, incensed by his friend's misuse of funds, 
they deemed vital to the coming war effort, and demanded a rather anachronistic form of punishment, public crucifixion. When I saw the body, it had already been exposed for some time, but that the animals and elements had scored, sc scoured it of most identifiable features, I could still clearly see the motion etched upon his face. Those Cropex sockets glared down at my father, howling traitor without cease. My father had spread a white cloth on the ground, and he knelt upon it, gazing up at the corpse, or washing its eternal hate. In his hands, he held a walkies... walkies... I know this word. Wakizashi, there we go. A short sword. The long sword was mine. <laughs> Suddenly, he ripped the wakizashi from its sheath and plunged it deep into the flesh of his abdomen. I watched his broad back double forward as he groaned with pain. <laughs> yeah, I brought this up last time I was talking about it. More groans followed as he dragged a blade across, carving a line directly through his navel. I could hear a sound, thick and wet, such as a centipede might make when crushed beneath a rock. Once he had finished, he had tossed the sword aside, and slowly, though with all the haste he could muster, reached into the wound, pulled something free, and held it up in trembling hands. <laughs> I'd rather not. <laughs> it looked like a pile of human waste. It glistened, steaming, dripping with filth. Mmm. <laughs> Could. It smelled even worse than it looked. Uh, worse than a day's catch of fish left to rot beneath the sun. Man, what was your dad eating? Dad, you're holding poop. Oh yeah, definitely. I've definitely taken some evil shits. It's crazy what it can, like, be inside you. Uh-huh, blah blah blah, you're so fucking weird, dude. Why are you like this? How'd you get someone to marry you? And then, my father smiled like a blossoming of spring. Yeah, 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 fucking jerk yourself off somewhere else. Your dick is so hard right now. You would be such a fucking virtue poster on like Twitter and Facebook, like, oh, look how fucking good of a person I am. I felt his voice grip my spine. My mind back then understood nothing, but my flesh, his flesh, knew. I knew what was re it knew what was required. お前がどのように生きるのかは分からない。どのようにもお前の意志で定めればいい。憎め。え、イボ。悪を憎め。許してはならない。あらゆる悪を否定せよ。一辺の例外もなく。My arms rose at their own volition. My father's will, not mine, was in control. His words rang in the marrow of my bones. My sword gleamed in the evening light, point raised to touch the sky. It should have been too heavy for me then, yet somehow I held it without a quiver. これを許さぬが正義。一条。正義を行え。私を殺せ。
good for her for being able to get such a clean strike, you know, get through all at once. The blade fell. Justice was done. I took my father's life. By some strange miracle, his head landed upright. For a moment, it saw me, and his lips moved. He could not have spoken. The voice I heard was surely in my head. But his last words reached me all the same. Zen-to-ak-wa-sash-chi-gai-te-tomo-ni-horobu-mono-sore-demo. Sore-demo. Know what you had to do. Why did my father die? Why was I the one to kill him? Back then, I understood nothing. So I sealed those memories deep in my heart and took with me only what I could not forget. His love of justice, his hatred of evil, these alone remained to guide me. Decade had passed, and now I have returned to accept his full lesson in full. The answer is here. It was always here, in the place where I began. His final words. Even so. Hate thunders in my ears. Words of loathing like maggots gnawing, at, uh, gnawing my brain. Words, they're hard. I know that this is what my father heard that day. あなたたちの知らないニュードー様を知っているだろうってああ、知っている。知っているよ。優しいお方だった。たったそれだけのことで入道様は危険も帰り見ずに私たちの身柄を引き取ってくれた。育ててくれた。うん。自分に取り立てて He's but a leaf in the wind, you know, going wherever his passions take him. Yeah, you know, he was nice to me. You know, it doesn't really matter that he did, you know, the occasional rape and murder. You know. Yeah. You know, whenever he did something fucked up, we'd be like, oh, that, you card, you fucking joker. Mm-hmm. もう死んでしまったんだ。入道様は。ファキンデッドイズアドーナイル。姉さんも生まれるはずだった赤子も。ファシンミンアゲン。イズアドーナイル。オーエイ、ザッツワットイズ。フォーフォードーナイルズ
I was gonna say you can't really blame him, you know. He was fucking kept as a showpiece for 400 years. But no, he, he was a person before he became, you know, a Sarugi, so he should know. He's just stupid. さっきまであんなに堂々としていたじゃないか。ちゃんと胸を張ってよ。入道様が悪人だったから妊婦の姉さんと退治事をまとめて殺してしまったんだって言えばいいだろ。それで私も殺してくれれば言うことはない。オッ
急いでるんだふざけるなよ今さら私だけ見逃そうって言うのか well, kind of, but... だったらなぜ入道様を殺した姉さんを入道様と姉さんの子を殺したんだでも。Don't care. He was evil. He died. Suck it, nerd. Even so. Now, I will fucking <laughs> Fortnite default dance on this, you know, miscarriage baby fetus corpse for justice. The boy's shouts give way to wordless sobs, a rising crescendo, a deluge of grief. I let it crash against my back. Each drop a piercing reminder of my guilt. Yeah, you know, real, real world justice, not your fucking fairy tale bullshit. You're doing pretty good for, you know, having a couple extra, like, ventilation holes in your chest right now. No, you got shot in the back. You're gonna have some decent sized exit wounds in your chest. You know, like, sure, you know, 8mm, it's not like... It's not like a 45. You're not gonna have, you know, a baseball-sized hole in your chest, but... You're fucking toughing it out pretty good. It's just my dream. One that I've chosen to follow to the end. No, you, you were right. Justice does deserve to be enacted. You just didn't have the foresight to think about the consequences. Yep, it's grimy, it's dirty, it's fucked up. But it's there. Kokatsna Yatsrada. Jibun no machini hio tskete ektoana. Tetai shimaska, Taicho. And you guys are no better. Fucking. I know it's the 40s, but stop. Stop, you know, every single sentence has to be something racially motivated. Please just stop.敵部隊の集結を許さず、格好撃破というのが司令部の方針だ。あの6からどもは見逃せない。火星の弱い箇所を狙って突破し、捕捉、撃滅する。避難中の市民集団との接触は避けられないと思われますが、その場合の対応は
建物の上では、校舎だったような気もしますよね。If you haven't been to Afghanistan, it's not that hot. It's up in the mountains. It was like September, August. Yeah, it was August, end of August. Up in, up in Kabul. Kabul's in the mountains. It's like low 80s. You know, super stressed out people, you know, decently malnourished at this point, dehydrated. You know, a lot of kids and elderly、uh, waiting for 14 hours. In Qatar, where it's you know 120 degrees, yeah, packed in like sardines on the jet, you know, waiting to get transportation and in, in processed in, you know, just a couple people just keel over. You know, get the, we try to get the ambulance out there, but it's happening on all the other jets too, so it's、uh, not the best of times. Tatemoi. わかってるじゃないかそうそして軍を動かすのは建前ではなくあいにくと現実の my, my plane was doing better than a lot of the other ones because on our flight out we had like eight eight like combat, me, combat medics flying out with us so one we were able to keep,、uh, keep our passengers a little more pacified because you know normally it, you know it's just like a couple handguns upstairs whatever Uh, but these guys just rocking around in full fucking battle rattle and got, got M4s and they're all fucking strapped up in armor. Which, one, you know, that kept everyone a little more calm, you know, not really, uh, kept them、uh, a little more pacified. They didn't push back as hard, you know, from the unreasonable conditions of being stuck on the ground for 14 hours cooking.、Uh, but we also had people there to, you know, administer IVs and have, like,、uh, fucking whatchamacallit. Uh, electrolyte powder, you know, to kind of rehydrate some people that were doing real bad. Anyway,、uh, back. Enough, enough about my, my personal traumas. Let's, let's, let's listen and learn about new traumas for everyone else in the story. What are you going to do? 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 ハリウッドスターになってみんなの夢の中で生きていればよかった。まったくだ。なんでそうしなかったの、uh-huh. さあ仕事を始めよう。武器も持たない市民に向かって惜しくも銃口を突きつけるとしようじゃないか。こうすることで戦争は早く終わり、結果的にこの国の平和にも寄与するのだと信じてな。了解。言葉がわからないのかあっち行きなさい早く逃げなさい人殺し<笑>こいつ石を投げやがったザクザク父さんを返せ母さんを返せ Did, did he do it? 返せよ Stop! Stop boy! Well, that was fucked up. Who saw that all? I did it, Smurina Kanakata. Yeah, but you did anyway. Oh, the Kastaka not Smurida. Timotoka could have taken hit in the head with a rock will do that. So now, oh, Lord, oh, go to our rights, scatter her enemies, and make them fall. <laughs> 
Yep, just disassociate. すべてを女王の止め、すべてを祖国の止めか。それがお前の正義か。否定しようとは思わない。お前がその正義を信じて戦うことで、だが、その陰に救われなかった人々がいるという事実は決して消えない。Carry the weight of the dead with you. お前は子供を殺した。その事実は永遠に存在する。You are guilty. Same. Mido. この辺りは。もう無人のようだ。え。あの兵士のお仲間は町の中心部へ向かって進んでいるし、住民は逃げたか。いや、そう。いくらかは助けられたのかしら。私たちがあの連中の一部を足で見せたこと。いくらか。彼らを助けられ
今倒れれば俺は二度と目覚めない二度とその前に済ませることがある二度俺は綾音一条を倒す Yep, just reuse that, that flashback, the flashback's background with all the dead bodies. Nido, Higashi no ho de, Kono mono do mono nakama ga, Bezu no gunze to arasotte oru yo da. Ika ga suru. Hmm? Masamune dono! Yo ya ko aite kimasa! Oh, hey, what's up? Yeah, that's right, you guys exist. I saw the face of the face that was falling down, but I thought I was going to be able to get you. I was able to get you. Hime-sama. It's the Okabe siblings, with a group of armed warriors at their back. Come on, go to the back. No, you're not here, Aneue. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to get you. Yeah, we kind of got bigger matters to attend to. If you met with Masamune Dono, you'll be able to get you out of the way. ちかくにはドクハラのみならず新中軍もおるのですぞそうですねマサムネ様現在の政情はご存知ですかシーチレスズミいや多分何も知らないずっと偽計合を言っていたからだってまたは事実だと思います私どもは計画通り鎌倉
私たちのやることは同じだ政宗殿で戦う、うん、新中軍が侵略するなら新中軍と戦う六原が町を焼くなら六原と戦う大和にあだなす全てが敵だはあ暴君も侵略者もいらない誰も傷つけず誰からも奪わない人間だけが残ればいいこの国をそうするのが私たちの目指すところだ私たちの正義だそのお言葉をいただきとうござった家も名も失いし我ら岡部の一党かかる大義のために命を投げ打てるのであればこそ生きながら得た甲斐もありまする Kurunose thrust his fist at the sky. Sakurako nods. Her eyes are bright. They believe in me.、Uh, they will fall in where I lead. They will kill and they will die. For me, for my justice. Nothing about that is right or good. Even if your enemy is a monster, to end his evil by taking his life is just another act of evil. I know that now. I know that no matter what I believe, This is injustice. But I will call it justice. And with justice as my banner, I will march them all to war. This is wrong, a terrible sin. Even so, if we fight to the end, if we keep fighting evil and calling that justice, then perhaps the lie will one day become truth. When everyone believes that justice is real, that wicked deeds must carry a price. Then perhaps mankind will reject evil once and for all, of its own free will, without needing demons like me to punish them. If, indeed, that comes to pass, if people can be guided to choose the right path without the need for conflict, then true justice will at last be born into this world. True justice, that is my dream. Dewa, Tadachi ni mairi ma shouzo. カトリで同胞たちが待っておりまするうん悪いけど少し待っててくれ yeah, got, you know, couple, その前にやらないといけないことがあるんだマサムネ様あの方はどうなされたのです、uh, yeah, ご一緒ではないのですか no. I turn and walk away. I can't remember if Masamune told me, or if I simply felt it somehow, but I already know where I'm going. I know where he will be. I pull the hairpin from my pocket and cradle it in my hand. My fingers brush the lacquered surface, feeling out its shape. Minato Kakiaki, he gave this to me. Here is everything I must forsake. Thanks for not making it a CG I needed to blur. I appreciate that. <laughs> All of my memories of him are here. They rise now, called by this emblem as the moon summons the tide. I let them come. They do not harm me. There is pain, but it is sweet. I know now that he too was lost. He had his struggle, and I had mine, though his, I'm sure, was greater. But. Even amid that struggle, he always had strength for me. For my insults and pleas, my questions, he answered them all with all of his power. How can I condemn this man? How can I forget our time together, which was so much shorter than it seemed? The rage I felt towards him had vanished. Now there is only, now, now there is only gratitude. And that is what I must leave behind. These memories. These thoughts, these feelings, I cannot take them with me. They will hold me back, and I will need all of my strength to answer him as he answered me. Time to say goodbye. <laughs> you can break that with your teeth? Ugh. Oh. Ah, oh, oh. Shards of lacquer stab into my gums. I swallow them together with everything they represent. I cannot forget. 
I cannot leave them behind. Nor can I carry them with me. This is the only way. Nido. Yeah, and they're just watching on like, yo, what the fuck? Nico. Masamune. He's there, just up ahead, waiting with silent calm, waiting for me. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, then it won't have to wait to meet, but uh, we certainly will, because that's where we're going to be ending it here for today. Once again, everybody, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring the notification bell. See you guys on next time for the next episode of Full Metal Demon Muramasa, where it might be the last part. I should be able to push on through. You know, I'll probably be able to record tomorrow night when I get home. Because I'll wake up in the morning, I'll have to make my pie crust and bake my pie. That's going to take a couple hours. Uh, you know, I like to sleep in. Probably probably sleep until like noon, honestly. Get it so my pie is fresh out of the oven for when I take it over. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's that's not like a good plan. But, you know. You don't care to hear me waffling on any more than that other before the end of the episode. Uh, and I've already done my outro, so I guess I guess is the part where I just hit stop recording and you go about and do something more productive with your day. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm done now. Bye. Mwah.